كثير من ينتسبون إلى السلف يقولون نحن سلفيون لكنهم لا يعرفون مذهب السلف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله فبلغ رسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده ما ترخ خيرا إلا دل الأمة عليه ولا شرا إلا حذرها منه صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين All praises are for Allah We seek his help, we seek his forgiveness We seek refuge with him from the evils of our inward intentions And the evils of our outward wicked actions Whomsoever Allah guides, no one can lead astray And whomsoever he leaves to go astray Surely there is no guidance for that individual I testify to the fact that there is no deity worthy of being worshipped in truth besides him alone without any partners. As I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a slave and his messenger. He conveyed the message, he fulfilled the trust, he advised this ummah and he strove in Allah's cause with the correct and upright striving. There was nothing good except that he directed his ummah towards it and nothing evil except that he warned against it. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, his family, his companions and whomsoever threads upon his way until the establishment of the last hour. Ayyuhal mu'minun ibadallah Ittaqullah ta'ala haqqa taqwa وراقبوه مراقبة من يعلم أن ربه يسمعه ويرى O believing slaves of Allah Fear Allah the mighty and the majestic the fear he's deserving of you And be mindful with the type of mindfulness Of the individual who knows that his Lord Tabaraka wa ta'ala Has the perfect ability to hear and see him فَمَنِ اتَّقَ اللَّهُ وَقَاهُ وَأَرْشَدَهُ إِلَىٰ خَيْرِ أُمُورِ دِينِهِ وَدُنْيَا As for the one who fears Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala with the correct type of fearing, Allah the Mahdi and the Majestic will screen that person and direct him to everything that is good related to his religion and his worldly affairs. وَتَقْوَى هِيَ عَمَلٌ بِطُوعَةِ اللَّهِ عَلَى نُورٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ يَرْجُ ثَوَابًا وَتَرْقُ لِمَعْصِيَةِ اللَّهِ عَلَى نُورٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ يَخَافُ عَذَابًا As for taqwa, its definition is to do an act of obedience upon a light from Allah hoping for his reward. Likewise, it is to stay away from sinning upon a light from Allah fearing his punishment tabaraka wa ta'ala. أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِبَادُ اللَّهِ إِنَّ الدِّينَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينُ الْأَمَانَ وَالنُّصْحِ وَالْوَفَاءِ لَا خِيَانَ فِيهِ وَلَا مَقْرُ وَلَا جَفَاءِ My noble believing brothers and sisters, indeed the religion of Al-Islam is the religion of trust, advising one another, allegiance and fulfilling obligations upon humanity. And it is not a religion of deception. It is not a religion of mistrust, plotting and alienating the people. For this reason, the companion Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala an mentioned in that which is collected by Ibn Hibban in his Sahih that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us a khutbah and in it he said, La iman 
لمن لا أمانة له ولا دين لمن لا أهد له There is no faith for the one who cannot be trusted and there is no deen there is no religion for the one who cannot fulfill an agreement therefore no O slaves of Allah betrayal al khiyana is that which Islam disparages it is that which Islam warns against it is that which Islam makes forbidden and his punishment is inevitable for the one who loves disloyalty and betrayal. So know well, my believing noble brothers and sisters, may Allah the Mighty and the Majestic direct me and you towards everything that is good, that it is sufficient for us to understand that Allah wa ta'ala hates the deceiver, as he informed us in his noble and glorious book, the Quran, Inna Allah la yuhibbu al-khairin. Certainly Allah the Mighty and the Majestic doesn't love those who are treacherous. Likewise the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us in the hadith collected by Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim in their two authentic collections on the authority of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an Ayatul Munafiq Thalathun the signs of a hypocrite are three. Ida haddatha kathab. Whenever the individual speaks, he lies. Wa ida wa'ada akhlaf. And whenever he promises, he breaks his promise. Wa ida tumina khana. And whenever the individual is entrusted with something, he proves to be deceptive. He proves to be treacherous. My believing noble Muslim brothers and sisters, there are many evil, betraying, deceptive traits found in the munafiq, found in the hypocrites. And from their deception outwardly is painting a picture to be an advisor and trustworthy. But their true reality inwardly is betrayal and alienation. وَلِهَذَا كَانَتْ الْخِيَانَةِ مِنْ خِصَالِ أَهْلِ النِّفَاقِ For this reason, betrayal Deception is from the characteristics of the people of hypocrisy. This is why Abu Dawood at Tirmidhi, Ibn Hibban, Imam al Nawawi, and other than them collected on the authority of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an, and Shaykh al Albani rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned that the narration is good, that betrayal is one of the things which he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to seek refuge from as he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to supplicate wa'a'udhu bika min al-khiyanah fa'innaha bi'sat al-bitanah and I seek refuge with you O Allah from betrayal for indeed it is an evil hidden trait so here the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said an evil hidden trait that is because the betrayer conceals his deception and betrayal inwardly and he doesn't make it apparent until he becomes successful in his plots and deceptions likewise no O believing slaves of Allah al khiyana betrayal is not specific or only connected to interactions with the people but rather it is of three types the first deception towards Allah the second deception towards the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and lastly, deception towards the trust. Amanatun nas fima bainahum. Betrayal of the trust that is between the people. And all of these three types, my believing noble brothers and sisters in Al Islam, are found in the statement of Allah, the Mahdi and the Majestic, when He said, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu. لا تخونوا الله والرسول وتخونوا أماناتكم وأنتم تعلمون 
O you who believe, O Muslims, betray not Allah and the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, nor betray your amanat, nor betray or be deceptive towards the things entrusted to you and all the duties which Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has ordained for you knowingly. Ibn Jarir and Ibn Abi Hatim mention in the tasir that Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma said regarding the statement of Allah, La Allah, do not betray Allah, bitarki faraidih, by leaving off things he has made compulsory. And as it relates to the statement of Allah, war rasul, and do not betray the messenger of Allah, then Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma said, بِتَرْكِ سُنَّتِهِ وَرُقُوبْ نَهِي Do not betray him by leaving off his sunnah and doing the things which he has made prohibited. And as it relates to the statement of Allah, وَاتَّخُونُوا أَمَانَاتِكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And do not knowingly betray the trust. Then Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma added, لَا تَنْقُدُوهَا do not wipe off the trust. Do not wipe off the trust. Do not prove to be deceptive. So we benefit from this explanation of Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma that al khiyana betrayal is of three types. Al khiyana al muta'alliqa bi janibillah bi ruqub al ma'asi wa tarq al faraid wal wajibat. Firstly, betrayal which is connected to Allah by falling into disobedience and leaving off the compulsory acts. Al khiyana al muta'alliqa bi janib al rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi rafdi sunnatihi wa ruqub al ahwa'i wa dalalat. Secondly, deception which is connected to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by turning away from his sunnah and following desires and misguidance. And lastly, al khiyana fi ma yata'allaq bi huquq al-nas wa ta'amulatihim Deception which is connected to the rights of the people and interactions with them. That a man would deceive another. That a man will betray his Muslim brother. Rather, he would betray his own blood relative. A man will betray his brother's wealth. He will betray his family members. He will betray the secrets his brother or sister entrusted him with. He will betray his wife by cheating on her. And the woman will betray her husband. And she will betray the trust of her children. Therefore, O believing slaves of Allah, al khiyana deception, all of it is evil. For this reason we find in the sunan, of Abu Dawood and other than him, under authority of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Addil amana ila man ittamanak wa la takhun man khanak. Fulfill the trust of the one who entrusted you and do not betray the one who betrayed you. So we clearly benefit from this command of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam That al khiyana Betrayal is a despicable Disparage deed in Islam Likewise Allah the mighty and the majestic Informed us in his noble and glorious book the Quran Wa in yuridu khiyanatak Faqad khanu Allahu min qablu fa amkana minhum Wallahu alimun hakim But if they intend to betray you O Messenger of Allah, then know for sure they have already betrayed Allah before. So He gave you power over them, and Allah is all knower, all wise. My believing noble brothers and sisters, fear Allah wa ta'ala in all of your dealings, and do not prove to be deceptive. Do not betray the people. Al Hafidh ibn Rajab al Hanbali mentioned. فَمَنْ كَانَتْ نَفْسُهُ شَرِيفَةً وَهِمَّتُهُ عَالِيَةً لَمْ يَرْضَى لَهَا بِالْمَعَاصِي فَإِنَّهَا خِيَانَةً 
ولا يرضى بالخيانة إلا من لا نفس له For whoever has a noble soul and high aspirations then he would not be pleased in committing sins for indeed this is betrayal and no one will be pleased with betrayal except the one who has no soul barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum min al bayan wa dhikr al hakim aqulu hadha al qawl wa astaghfir lah li wa lakum wa li sa'ir al muslimin min kulli dhanb فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله على فضله وإحسانه وأشكره على توفيقه وامتنانه وشر أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وشد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وبعد my noble believing brothers and sisters, Allah Taala has entrusted you with nobility in his religion. He has entrusted you with Al-Islam. And he has entrusted you with the pure sunnah of the messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he has entrusted you with the people and their wealth. He has entrusted you with their blood. He has entrusted you with their families. So be an upright believer and one who was upon justice and fear him tabaraka wa ta'ala. Do not betray his trust because he hates the one who sins and betrays the trust as he informed us in his noble and glorious book, the Quran. وَلَا تُجَادِلْ عَنِ الَّذِينَ يَخْتَانُونَ أَنفُسَهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ مَنْ كَانَ خَوَّانًا أَثِيمًا and argue not on behalf of those who deceive themselves. Indeed, Allah does not like anyone who is a betrayer of his trust and indulges in crimes and indulges in sins. يَسْتَقْفُونَ مِنَ النَّاسِ وَلَا يَسْتَقْفُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ مَعْهُمْ إِذْ يُبَيِّتُونَ مَا لَا يَرْضَى مِنَ الْقَوْلِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِمَا يَعْمَلُونَ مَحِيطًا they may hide their crimes from men, but they cannot hide their crimes from Allah. For He is with them by His knowledge when they plot by night in words that He is not pleased with. And Allah ever encompasses what they do. My believing noble brothers and sisters, fear Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala the fear that He is deserving of you and fulfill the trust. Do not be deceptive. ثم اعلموا أن أصدق الكلام كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وعليكم بالجماعة فإن يد الله على الجماعة فمن شذ شذ في النار إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك نبينا محمد ورد اللهم إن خلفائه الراشدين الأئمة المهديين أبي بكر وعمر وأثمان وعلي وأن الصحابة أجمعين وأن التابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداء الدين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله الجليل الكريم يذكركم ودعوه يستجب لكم ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقيم الصلاة